Welcome to AP Common Sense and Internet Video Hello, Gaming. And thank you for Today's let's lesson will cover the basics of the popular Let's Play. You will learn the abilities of technological advancements needed to produce a Let's Play of any determinable quality. And you will also learn what makes a game a good decision for Let's Playing. As a prerequisite, I suggest all future Let's Players watch any or all of the following Let's Players in order to find a grip with the art. Diabetes, Slow Beef, Proteus4994, Accounting Nightmare, The Freelance Astronauts, Research Indicates, Metibot, Pokecappen, and Billy MC. At first you will notice the grand spectrum that these Let's Plays form, coming in the form of Humorous, see previous examples The Freelance Astronauts, Pokecappen, Diabetes, Slow Beef, and Proteus4994, Informative, see Accounting Nightmare and Research Indicates, and Narrative, see Diabetes and Metibot. You'll you will notice, the games presented by the aforementioned groups all have a certain level of interest or possibility in entertainment. This is a good thing, and exactly what you're looking for in terms of a game that is worthy for being shown to the internet. To Avoid games that are heavy on blah, text blah, blah, and reading, and on no terms should you read the text on the screen, no matter how funny or ridiculous an accent you use for such occasion. Always, always, always avoid games that have been released within the last six months or so. Avoid games with no discernible endings, such as massively multiplayer online RPGs, the free ones in particular. Other than these general tips for games, you should always avoid games that you are not capable of playing. Be that because the game is poor or because you're horrible at the game, avoid games you dislike as well. A general idea that you should always keep on mind during the choice of a Let's Play, choose a game that has some degree of obscurity to it. No one wants to see yet another Zelda Let's Play, or a Mario Let's Play, or God forbid, another Let's Play of I Wanna Be The Guy. Game choice aside, one must also consider the technology needed for such an endeavor. This can range from anywhere to a screen recording program, and there are many free ones to choose from, such as Virtual Dub, to a capture card used to record video and audio directly from a television set. Under no circumstances, emphasis on no circumstances, should a webcam or video camera be used for Let's Play. This leads to bloomy, grainy picture, usually covered in scan lines, which makes the game in question impossible to see. Video editing software is not a necessity in Let's Play, but one should always look over their video before posting it to the internet. One can even use Windows Movie Maker to cut out large sections of video where nothing of note occurs, or where massive amounts of failure at a certain point in a level occur. Keep in mind that a microphone is a prerequisite of video let's play. Successful subtitle video let's plays have shown up in the past, but these are the minority and are done only by people of high levels of skill or comedy. A general grasp of the game is also a powerful tool in let's play. Blunt runs are a good way to make your commentary both unentertaining and uninformative, as long as you have no idea what you're getting into. Play through the game before you let's play, and don't skip large portions just because they're hard or they can take long periods of time. That's where the aforementioned video editing comes into play. Your homework tonight, study these examples and points given today, and begin your work on your own let's play. Remember to show effort and finesse, and don't put up the first thing you make. Class dismissed.